<laughs> okay, so sorry. Oh, okay, can. Okay, so I'll be talking about this. It's called a slide rule. Okay, so again, a quick. Well, how many of you guys use this before? Okay, much lesser, right? <laughs> okay, this is a much older technology. So I mean, I've never used this before prior to today, prior to preparation, preparing this presentation. Okay, so yeah, what is a slide rule? So okay, I copy this from Wikipedia. It's a mechanical analog computer. So it can do multiplication, division, roots, logarithms, trigonometry. Yeah, not normally used for addition or subtraction. So a bit of history there. Invented around the 16th, uh, 1620 to 1630. Modern one is in 1859. So it's a very old tech. Okay. So this rule. So actually this is not mine. This is my dad's one. He bought it in 1973. Yeah. So this is yeah. This model is a Hemi P261 by this company. So obviously this company does not exist anymore. <laughs> Okay, so features. Okay, so I took a sub close up picture. You can see you can do exponents, pi, trigonometry, powers, log. You can see over there. Okay. Okay, so how does one use such a thing? So, of course, I didn't have much time to prepare this presentation. But the thing is, I had the guidebook. My dad, yeah, luckily he kept this guidebook here. Yeah. So, of course, I look at it then, yeah. So, I have the, in this screenshot here, I have multiplication and division. So I look at it, okay, never mind. So the basic principles is actually not that hard to grasp. So what you do is actually, for example, you're going to do 2.3 times 3.1, right? First, you find 2.3 at the bottom one at the bottom scale here. After that, this is called a sliding window with a hairline. Look for 2.3, which is somewhere here. After that, the next number, 3.1, right? You adjust the center one, you see this. So you adjust the center one to 3.1, align it with 2.3. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, somewhere like that you can see in the picture. Okay, then the answer can be found at the end here. You just slide the window here, the answer is here. So you get 7.13. So this is how you do it. So you just pick the first number, adjust the second bar, uh, adjust the second bar until the second number matches with the first. Then the answer is at the end of the scale. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's, just, it's the same for all the other operations. It's quite similar. Okay, so the decline of side rule. So there's a reason why these things do not exist today. <laughs> So you can see here, because of the primary reason is the lower cost of electronic calculators. So my dad bought this in 1973. You can see the cost of a calculator then. In 1972, it cost 395 US dollars. Of course, this number is not adjusted for inflation. So it's much higher today. Probably, yeah, you can see, about 3,000 plus. So imagine buying a laptop just to do a calculator job. <laughs> of course, by the time in 1976, right, you can see the cost of the, the electronic calculator dropped so much. Yeah. So by then, it's much more affordable. So by that time, 1976, this thing, yeah, not worth it already. Okay, yeah, so that's all. <laughs> quick lighting talk. Any quick question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, there's one of the speakers here, he didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, that's all.